In today's AI news, something truly groundbreaking happened, Anthropic released the next generation of their flagship model, Claude 3. This release caught everyone off guard as it outperforms every other AI model across the board on the main benchmark tests. So, without further ado, let's delve into the details of this release. Anthropic has unveiled three new models in the Claude 3 family, Claude 3 Opus, Claude 3 Sonnet, and Claude 3 Haiku. As the models increase in intelligence, the cost also rises slightly. These models offer fascinating capabilities, and later in this video, we'll explore their differences and why Claude 3 Opus stands out as the most intelligent model currently available. Claude 3 Opus sets a new standard for intelligence, surpassing its peers on various evaluation benchmarks for AI systems. It excels in tasks such as undergraduate and graduate level expert knowledge, basic mathematics, nuanced content creation, analysis, forecasting, and conversing in multiple languages like Spanish, Japanese, and French. Now, let's talk about the shocking benchmarks. Claude 3 Opus outperforms other state-of-the-art models like GPT-4 and Gemini's recently released 1.0 Ultra across the board. Its accuracy percentages are impressive, nearing 100% in some categories, which is a significant leap in AI capabilities. However, it's crucial to consider qualitative data from users' experiences alongside these benchmarks. Users have reported that interacting with Claude 3 Opus feels different and that it seems to understand them better than any other large language model, indicating its real-world effectiveness. One of the most surprising aspects of the Claude 3 release is its vision capabilities. These models possess sophisticated vision capabilities on par with other leading models, enabling them to process various visual formats like photos, charts, graphs, and technical diagrams. Now, let's dive into a demonstration showcasing Claude 3 Opus's capabilities in analyzing the world economy. We'll witness how Claude and its companions can analyze GDP trends, perform statistical analysis, and project future scenarios with remarkable accuracy and efficiency. In this video, we're going to see if Claude and a couple of friends can help us analyze the world economy in a matter of minutes. Okay, I've asked Claude 3 Opus, which is the largest model in Anthropic's new Claude 3 family, to look at the GDP trends for the US and write down a markdown table of what it sees. We've given Opus and all the other models in the Claude 3 family extensive training on tool use, and one of the major tools it's using is this web view tool. It goes to a URL, looks at what's on the page, and because it's multimodal, it can use the information on that page to solve complex problems. So here's the markdown, and it's important to note that Claude doesn't have direct access to these numbers. It's literally looking at this same browser you and I are seeing, looking at the trend line, and trying to estimate what the exact numbers are. Let's see how accurate it was. We've asked the model to create a plot of the data, and it's used the second tool, this Python interpreter, to write out the code and then render the image for us to check. And here's the image. Look, it's actually added helpful little tooltip animations to explain some of the major peaks and troughs in the last decade or two of the US economy. And we can compare that graph with the actual data, and it turns out it's pretty close. It's actually within 5% accuracy. And by the way, Claude's transcription here isn't just coming from its pre-existing knowledge of US GDP. We tried it with a large sample of made-up GDP graphs, and its transcription accuracy was within 11% on average. Next, we asked the model to do some statistical analysis, projecting out into the future, performing simulations to see where the GDP of the US might head. And we can see that it's run this analysis using Python, and it's able to perform these Monte Carlo simulations to see what the range of GDP possibilities might look like for the next decade or so. But I wonder if we can go further. We're going to get the model to analyze a more complicated question, that is, how GDP might change across all of the biggest world economies. And then to help it do that, we're going to give it one more tool called Dispatch Subagents. This basically allows the model to break down the problem into lots of subproblems and then write prompts for other versions of itself to help pick up the slack. The models can then complete a more complex task by all working together. Here you can see it's written this prompt and given very precise instructions that it wants the other models to follow, including a format for the data that it's hoping to return. 
It's dispatched a version of this prompt to one model that's going to look at the US, one for China, one for Germany, Japan, and so on. And we can see in these progress bars that the subagent models are now completing the set task for each of the individual economies. They're going to the relevant web pages, they're getting the information, they're running the code to analyze it, just like we saw in the previous US example, but all in parallel. Let's just skip forward to see what the model produced. You can see it's run the analysis, it's produced a pre and post pie chart of how it expects the world economy to look in 2030 versus 2020, and it's given us a written analysis too, where it makes verbal predictions that relate to the statistical analysis that it ran. It's telling us that it thinks the GDP share of particular economies will change and which ones will be larger or smaller by 2030. So there we have it. Complex, multi-step, multimodal analysis run by a model that can create sub-agents to get even more tasks running in parallel. We're excited to see what you, our customers, can do with these advanced Claude 3 capabilities. Next, of course, we do have another short demo, and this is by the other model Haiku, and this one is very, very fascinating too. Claude Haiku is one of the fastest and most affordable vision-capable models in the world. To demonstrate this, we're going to read through thousands of scanned documents in a matter of minutes. The Library of Congress Federal Writers Project is a collection of thousands of scanned transcripts from interviews during the Great Depression. This is a goldmine of incredible narratives and real-life heroes, but it's locked away in hard-to-access scans of transcripts. Imagine you're a documentary filmmaker or journalist. How can you dig through these thousands of messy documents to find the best source material for your research without reading them all yourself? Since these documents are scanned images, we can't feed them into a text. Moving on to Claude 3 Haiku, it stands out as one of the fastest and most affordable vision capable OCR models software. globally. But luckily, its Haiku ability to process thousands of scanned documents in minutes opens up numerous possibilities for industries like publishing, and really healthcare, and on. law firms. Another notable feature is Claude 3 Sonnet's role as a language partner. And ask Haiku to generate Sonnet can assist users in learning a new language by providing like corrections, date, translations, keywords, and engaging in dialogue, making it a valuable tool to for language learners and educators. The story Anthropic and has also addressed concerns regarding model refusals and improved accuracy. The new models demonstrate a nuanced API, understanding of requests, resulting in fewer unnecessary refusals and more accurate Let's responses. Let's take a look at some of that structured output. Haiku is able to not just transcribe, but pull out creative things like keywords. We've transformed this collection of many, many scans uh, into rich keyword structured data. Imagine what any organization with a knowledge base of scanned documents, like a traditional publisher, healthcare provider, or law firm can do. Haiku can parse their extensive archives and bodies of work. We'd love for you to try it out and see what you build. There's also another very impressive demo that I do want you all to see and this is their model sonnet acting as a language part. This is just a simple prompt to turn sonnet into a dialogue agent that will talk with you in a language that you're trying to learn. So I chose Spanish and I wanted it to basically take my imperfect Spanish and, and help me improve it. Um, so I decided I wanted it to do a few things. I wanted it to take my message, which will be in kind of imperfect Spanish, um, and write out what it thinks I intended in English. I then ask it to write back the ideal learner message, which is just my message as it kind of should have been written in Spanish, so that I can see the kind of ideal form of this. Uh, then I ask it to write a teacher response, which is just a response to me in Spanish, uh, so that I can continue the conversation. Great, so this is basically just Sonnet saying that we're ready to start, so I'll just start with a simple first message. And here it's following the format that I asked for, so it's repeating the message that I tried to send it back to me in English. It's telling me how I should have said it, so it's corrected some of the grammar issues in my request. Um, and then it's responded to me in Spanish. And then it's asked me uh, where I'm from, so... Okay, now imagine I don't know a certain word in Spanish, but I still want to say it. I'm going to just include that word in English in square brackets, and hopefully it'll just translate it back to me.
And suppose I hit a roadblock because I just don't understand the message that it's sent to me. I can just ask it to translate that message to me into English, and then I can read that and I can respond to it again in Spanish, continuing the dialogue. And as a final step, you could ask Sonnet to create a little quiz for you based on the things that you've been discussing. So hopefully that is a useful prompt if you're interested in using Sonnet as a language learning partner. I hope you try it out. Moreover, Anthropic has introduced a 200k context window, with the potential to expand to 1 million tokens, enhancing the model's recall capabilities. Claude 3 Opus achieves near-perfect recall accuracy, surpassing 99%, indicating its robustness in retrieving information from vast datasets. In summary, Anthropic's release of Claude 3 marks a significant advancement in AI capabilities. The model's exceptional performance across various tasks, coupled with their vision capabilities and language processing, opens up new possibilities for AI applications across industries.